Welcome to Community College News. I'm Michael McDonald. Later in the show, we have winter car safety tips, Brad Perry examines the idea of restorative justice, and we take you into the first town Christmas. But first, as of Thursday, meetings to avert a walkout of 60 workers were continuing. It could impact students and businesses. Kyle DuPont tells us more. Acadian Bus Line employees gave their 72-hour notice Wednesday at midnight but the company's new offer Thursday will now be voted on by the union. If rejected, a walkout is possible next Friday. Many different businesses will potentially be affected. Murray Zerving in Woodstock is a stop for the bus line. Owner Calvin Grant is concerned about the potential strike. Uh, not only do we handle the parcels and the packages uh, that are coming in, especially you get at Christmas time, you tend to get a fair amount but also the people that are getting in and off the bus coming in and buying chips, pop, candy bars, uh, coffee, you know, picking up little things in the restaurant and so on. All right. Students may also be affected by a strike who rely on bus transportation to get home for the holidays. Some students are already exploring alternatives. That's not good, I don't think. A lot of people have a hard time getting home for Christmas, probably. And she won't have a way of leaving from Woodstock, so she'll have to, have to figure out a way for her to get to Fredericton, for her to get to home to PEI. Which is difficult because we don't have a car, right? Always help it with gas. A lot of people carry pool. With the holidays fast approaching, students are looking for options for rides, including carpooling, online websites like Kijiji, and social media. Acadian bus lines were not available for comment. In Woodstock, Kyle DuPont, Community College News. New Brunswickers got a nasty taste of winter on Wednesday. The first major snowstorm of the season swept through the province. Our Jeff Stairs has more. It started mid-morning with a few flurries. By noon, much of southern New Brunswick was being pummeled by heavy snow. But Maritimers, it seems, took the weather in stride. Can't wait to get my wheeler out and plow snow. I gotta turn around now and buy a new snowblower. <laughs> That's what my wife says. St. John and Moncton saw 20 centimeters of snowfall. Fredericton residents Thursday morning were dealing with about 17 centimeters. Most municipalities were well prepared for the weather. We can have an inch of snow back home and the whole country can shut down for a week because they, they don't clear it. So here, you can still get out and get around. So it's much better. It was business as usual here in Woodstock with only a handful of cancellations. College campuses were closed in St. Andrews and St. John, the hardest hit by the storm. As the cleanup begins, keep proper safety in mind when shoveling snow. Keep your back straight and your knees bent. In Woodstock, Jeff Stairs, Community College News. After a milder than usual fall, we Maritimers are now preparing our vehicles for winter. Being prepared will benefit everyone. Caitlin Olmsted has the story. Frost-covered windows are a telltale sign winter is on its way. For many, this means getting the car serviced and ready for snow. One of the most important things people can do to get ready for messy roads is change the tires. I put on uh, winter tires, always. Actual winter tires. All seasons? All weather. With all seasons. You gotta be one of the cars in this, in this neck of the woods, kind of. Wiener Brown has been dealing with tires for 40 years. He recommends putting four winter tires on your vehicle. If you choose to put only two tires on, Brown says they should go on the back or you risk losing control. Let's say you just put two winter tires on and you put them on the front. If you're going down a ramp or, 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 or down an icy road and you let off the gas, you don't have to touch, touch the brake, and that car will come around in neutral fast. Winter tires have a soft rubber compound. The harder rubber of all seasons has less grip in the cold. Brown thinks a law enforcing winter tires is soon upon us. It's coming. Once the once insurance company take a study on it, like they did in Quebec, like they're going to see, okay, with all these accidents, what they have on for tires, and they'll see 80% were all seasons. Ricky Nicholson responded to 42 motor vehicle accidents last winter. Driver distraction is one of the main issues. Many could have been prevented. So slow down, quit texting, quit calling on the phone, and pay attention to the road. Brown says when having your vehicle service, check all fluids. Also, make sure your wipers are in good condition to keep your windshield clear. 
fire department recommends having an emergency kit in your car. A blanket, flashlight, and dry food are essential. In Woodstock, Caitlin Olmsted, Community College News. Earlier this week, the recreation room of Riverside Court was abuzz with Christmas spirit. Seniors living there helped decorate wreaths for the NBCC Woodstock Student Representative Council. Glue guns warmed up as the crafty hands of people in Riverside Court assembled the wreaths. The Christmas ornaments were pre-sold to raise funds for Student Council and the Mark Gallagher Fund for Haiti. Student Activities Coordinator Hillary Stockford calls the event a huge success. We're the second year we've done our wreath fundraiser and this year one of our students, uh, Brittany Como, had worked here during the summer and mm -hmm. suggested the idea, so I think it's an awesome idea, but this is the first time. One by one, the wreaths were completed and carted away. After all the crafts were done, the group relaxed with tea and cookies. Woodstock brightly lit up downtown to show off their Christmas spirit as New Brunswick's first town. Displays and entertainment continues at Connell House, in Carlton Mall and in the downtown area. Jocelyn Turner says children were receptive to the old-fashioned ideas. Why do we come, Nolan, to see Santa Claus? Many children gathered around for a glimpse of the fireworks display and for a chance to see the hero of the season, jolly old Saint Nick. They, 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 had, uh, they had a good time. He actually looked like he put on a little bit of weight from last year though. My, my oldest son mentioned that. Historic Connell House hosted an evening of classical music, but for the kids, the entertainment was all downtown. Um, seeing the fireworks. Sparkly ones. Sparkly ones? Fireworks were the hit of the downtown celebration for children like Janelle Sproul. Most children gathered tightly around their parents to watch the fireworks lighting up the sky. Oh, the fireworks. <laughs> the change in name does not change the spirit behind this traditional annual event. People are clearly enjoying this. Woodstock's own kickoff to Black Friday includes extended shopping hours and shopping bargains. In Woodstock, Jocelyn Turner, Community College News. The Florenceville Kinsman Club recently held their Christmas Miracles Telethon. It is usually held on the last Sunday of November, but it was held two weeks early this year. So it was two weeks early, and I know the donations will go up. You know, we always get 105, 110% return anyway, so... I know we're going to get more money. The Kinsmen raised about $15,000, but they were hoping for something closer to last year's total of $25,000. There's still time. Pledges are being accepted until the end of December. We'll have more news for more charities next week. This is the time of year students begin trying on new jewelry. Salesperson Emma Barlow set up a new display of grad rings for students at the Woodstock College. She says the rings are more than just jewelry. It's a great memory that you can always have. It's also amazing down the line if you want to share with your kids, pass your ring down. Barlow will be visiting the other campuses later in the school year. Basic rings are priced at $200. Barlow thinks it's affordable even for students. But the base metal is a lustrium, which is chrome and nickel, and it's quite affordable. NBCC's strategic direction might be due for changes soon. Students have a chance to voice their opinions at all six NBCC campuses. Caitlin Dean is running the Strat Chat consultation with students in Woodstock. Four questions um, to determine what our strategic direction is, and we'll report all of this back to the president next week. The strategic direction will affect students and staff at all of the NBCC campuses. To pitch in with your idea, talk to your local SRC representative. Students are often busy with assignments and studying. It's easy to forget the importance of exercise. Most college campuses have organized activities during the lunch hour and after school. Jill Constantine has more. Canada's most popular sport usually happens on ice, but throughout the province, the game is being played in gymnasiums. Community college campuses in Woodstock, St. John, Moncton and St. Andrews have organized floor hockey games, pitting different programs against each other. I think it's a great way to combine classes and make sure everybody gets along and gets to know the rest of the school. Derek Crony arranges all the games and doubles as the referee. I've been doing it for probably the last three or four years now. Uh, it's just it's something that you know, gets the students together. You know, it's a nice way to get some exercise and and it just kind of helps a little bit. 
like I said, just uh, you know, having students from different programs kind of meet each other and, and it just kind of bonds the school together a little bit better. Not all students get the exercise they need. Yeah, I mean, some of us go to the gym, some of us might run, but this is really gets your cardio going and it's, it's fun. If you're interested in getting active and taking part, talk with your local campus advisor. They'll know when the sports that interest you are happening. In Woodstock, Jill Constantine, Community College News. Here are some events happening at campuses across the province. Students who get in trouble with the law may not always end up in court. A program at one school is changing how crimes are dealt with. Brad Perry visited the school to learn how the program has had an impact. This Chipman school may seem the same as others, but it is not. It has a unique program that handles students who break the law. Restorative justice, to begin with, is an alternative measures to the court system. The program was brought into Chipman 10 years ago. Seven years later, the school adopted it. Instead of facing a judge, a person charged meets the victim one-on-one, -on -one, but it starts with the accused meeting police. The RCMP, initially, they have the discretion to either issue a caution, a warning, send the young individual to alternative measures, send them through court, or to restorative justice. Stewart's team then sits down with the victim and the accused. Ashley Lynn Bell is a student facilitator and believes the program is a great alternative. Personally, I've had experiences with other people through it, and it really sh gives people a chance to show remorse. Um, just having the victim meet the offender or the offender meet the victim um, really has a strong impact on, on the individual. As part of the program, the accused must sign a contract. It spells out how they are going to pay for their crime. Most times this involves community service. Stewart says a person that has gone through restorative justice is less likely to commit another crime. Of all of the forums that we had run over the past two or three years, only one has ever reoffended. Even though Chipman is currently the only school taking part in restorative justice, Stewart hopes that the program will spread to other schools in District 17 and across the province. In Chipman, Brad Perry, Community College News. Cars like the Honda Civic and Toyota Corolla have been some of Canada's best sellers for over a decade now. They're cheap to run, reliable, and in some people's opinions, boring. When most people shop for a car, Good value and reliability tend to be what they are looking for. These qualities is what has made cars like the Corolla and Civic some of the best-selling vehicles in Canada. Now, I have begrudgingly come to terms with the fact that the majority of people today see cars as nothing more as a simple means of transportation, or a better word perhaps would be automotive appliance. I think cars should be more exciting. They should exude character, either by the way it drives, sounds, or even looks. Now this is not specifically, I'm not really talking about Ferraris and Lambos. I'll use the Corolla as an example. Just look at it. It's boring, ordinary, and so common. Anyone who buys this better hope they have a tracking device because they are going to lose it in a Corolla-infested parking lot. A Camaro, however, will never have that problem. It's big, it's loud, it has huge 20-inch wheels jutting out from the sides. Plus, the windows are so small, it is like trying to drive a pillbox. Nothing boring or ordinary about that. Secondly, price. The Civic, for instance, is one of the cheapest compacts you can buy, so almost everyone can afford one. There are many like it, but this one is mine, right? The new Ford Focus is one of the best driving compacts this year, but it is also one of the most expensive in its class. Cars that sell the best tend to be as reliable as your household refrigerator or washing machine. 90% of all Camrys sold since 1995 are still on the road today. I'm sure you've seen the commercial. This 300, though, will never have that kind of stat. If it is comparable, though, to a household appliance, 
a gas-powered garbage disposal would probably be an accurate analogy. So in other words, cars like the Camry, the Corolla, the Civic, they never seem to offend anybody. A 300, though, will definitely offend someone. A car, in my opinion, should stir the soul. It should make you feel like a kid. Or love it and hate it at the same time. Now, not everyone is going to buy a car like this 300. It's big, it's loud, it'll suck the oil sands dry in about five minutes. But the fact that it appeals to someone and not everyone is what a car should be. I hope you weren't going too fast, Mike. That was our show. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to send us a story idea, you can email us at jschoolnbcc at gmail.com. Or if you want to see more of our work, you can visit jschoolnbcc.ca. Have a great day.